Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pythonista with one more video. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to download the file from the internet and then save the file in your local directory. So I'm going to use the requests uh, library, which is pretty simple and very intuitive, and then I'll show you how to do it. So let's say you wanted to download some public data. So I'm from Australia. So I'm going to get, for example, for some reason, I want to follow the inflation or unemployment rate um, every month. And then I want to create a script that automatically downloads that, save to a database. And then I can do pandas or whatever and analysis with it using Python. So if you wanted to do it manually, you have to go to the website here. For the unemployment rate, I think is, yeah, that one. So let's download that manually. So usually we'll download as a default on your downloads folder. So I'm using the Brave browser. So that's how the file gonna look like. And there you go. So here you've got all the number of employed persons and at some, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do it. Um, I'm just going to go here and open my VS Code in my uh, Python PyTalist um, GitHub repository. And I'm just going to create a file just to download a file. And then I'm just going to create a virtual environment here. So um, on the environment, and then that's going to be pretty easy. So our requests. So what I'm going to do is um, it's with this. Yeah. So I have the method called requests, and then so the the module and then I have get so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna go on the website and then on this file I'm just gonna copy the link address of that file which is that one so can you see that the end is the Excel file so if I execute this so I can save that into a request object and then that request object has got lots of methods. Uh, I wanted to do um, status code. Um, just gonna see uh, if it's uh, if I go here on my let's go and do it like this. Then it should show something happening. Yeah. So can you see that um, I've got the file here? And then I got a status code of 200. So I'm going to just do the same thing in Python. So if I run this code now, which is Python uh, download files, and then it should print 200. So, which is a good sign, but at the same time, I have uh, one thing in requests uh, called content. So, the content is going to be the binary that's uh, on the request. So, I'm just going to print that for now. Just so you to see it. It's going to be a little bit of gibberish because uh, Excel is a binary file. It's a long file because it's a one megabyte, or whatever. So to save it, and then you can just save in your uh, file system. And it goes from standard library, um, the file, and then you can call anything you want. So uh, abs unemployment dot um, excel. So and then just gonna put. Um, 
right binary. So that's the mode. Um, let's send it, you can call anything you want here. And then you just get the file pointer and then write. And then you go do requests, content. And that's it. So let's run again. And it's going to pop up an Excel file here. There you go. So I'm just going to prove you that um, this is opened. And that's the file. There we go. So it's pretty much um, that's it. That's I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how to do a download a file and how is it it's to do with Python. How can you automate that? So I'm writing a program to just to do some statistics of uh, finance, like employment, um, uh, inflation, uh, house prices, uh, interest rates, and I'm just gonna put some charts. When I've got the project ready, I'm just going to show you how, how I'm going to automate it. Just keep an eye on the channel. Thanks for watching. And in, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe, click the bell and like the video. See you next time.